All right, this is video two, modeling this sci-fi lantern. And in this video, I'm just gonna clean up some of the modeling or add a few more details. Uh, so here we go. Here's the first thing that I wanna do. I'm gonna come in here and grab that face there and I'm gonna extrude it down a little bit. Bring an edge loop in here. Take this thing and scale it just a little bit and push it down so it looks like we got a bit of a space i don't need it that small just fitting it in there okay the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna come in here and i'm going to take uh this area here All right, i'm just going to select and i want to bring my 3d cursor right there like that and then I'm going to bring in a circle. I'm going to make it 64 vertices. And I'm going to scale it down. I'm going to do something that I, I do a lot. Uh, just to add a little bit of detail to this. Pull this down here. Extrude it up like that. I'm going to press 2 for edge selection, E and S, and pull that in. Grab this E and S, pull it in. And then I'm going to, I think, uh, add an edge loop and control B, split this out like that. Okay, and then I'm going to shift alt and click those faces. There we go. Then press I twice to inset. Pull in to I get a region like that. And then E and Alt S, and I'm going to pull down, I guess, to push them out like that. And then with them still selected, switch to individual origins, and then just S, just scale it down like that. Okay. I'm going to add bevel. Come up probably three. Shade smooth. Come in and Alt N, recalculate outside. And I will end up with that. Let me see. If I put on arc like that, yeah, I think that's more what I'm looking for. So I'm going to take this and just uh, scale that in the Z a bit. Let's get the size that I want. And I'm going to S to scale and just pull it in just a little bit. All right, so I've got that. This is an added something. I don't know what that is. But okay. Now. I did decide that we need something up here where they join. So let's press one and find this here. Let's come in and I'm going to grab this edge and I'm going to shift D and S scale it out, P and break it out. And I want to straighten that. Selected SZ zero, I'll flatten it in the Z. Take that edge. And extrude it back in. Take this edge E and S, come in, select the whole thing, recalculate outside, maybe bring up one. And uh, let's see, shade smooth. So I get that there. I might just take the whole thing though and scale it a little bit so it fits in that spot a little bit better. Okay, that's there. Eh? Let's go in and shift D. We'll pull it down. Press the period key to focus. And uh, it doesn't look quite straight. Let's first of all rotate X 180. Yeah, I'm going to have to straighten that out a bit better. And uh, we'll bring it up. I'll just focus on that one, like that. Okay, so with that done like that, I'm going to take uh, these pieces and join them. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to delete anything else. Okay, and these ones are going to go, and 
these ones are going to go. And I'm just going to use that. Let's shift C to bring the 3D cursor right back to the middle. It's not the origin of the 3D cursor, is what I meant to say. Okay, so we got that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and apply that mirror. My 3D cursor is there. Shift D, rotate Z 120. And Shift D, rotate Z 120. And just, you know, I don't know if that makes makes it better. I, th I hope it does. Okay. Then I was thinking what I was going to do was to add like a, a wire mesh. I don't know how sci-fi that will end up looking, but uh, I think I'm going to do that anyhow. Let's do this. These are curves still. Let's get rid of the subdivision. Switch this to 4. I will need that subdivision back. But let's just convert this to a mesh now. And I'll get rid of that one. And we'll control one. Before we go any further, let's come under here. And in edge selection, let's grab something like that. So something that goes all the way around. Shift D. Pull it down. P and break it out. So we've got that. And let's use that. Let's uh, turn off the subdivision. And let's extrude this down a ways. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Something like that. Let's take this Shift D and duplicate it down. Okay, now back on this thing, I'm going to put some more edge loops so I get these, first of all, these vertical parts. So right here, actually I don't know where I don't do that yet, uh, and then roll my mouse up until I got, I think it's four in there. I'm going to do that on all sides. Like that, so it's kind of even. There was four, and then I'm going to come in here. And I'm rolling my mouse up until they're about square. All right. And then I'm going to select it all, right click, subdivide. And I'll just make them a bit smaller. You can start with that. Okay. Okay. With everything selected, I'm going to go Control F, poke faces, Control F, tries to quads. And I get that. Now I would come over here and add the wireframe modifier. Pull this back a little bit so it's not quite so thick. Go the wrong way. Like that. Oh. And I'm going to try shade smooth. Let's take this and alt and recalculate outside. And let's try maybe bevel. I want that before. Uh, Put it after. Mm. I just gotta look at this. Let's try none. Angle. Let's try arc. Okay, so I get that there, but I'll get it on the other side. Have a look at this. I'm going to shut off all the modifiers just for a moment. I want to troubleshoot what seems to be going on here. So we got some weird stuff going on here. Right. So let's just focus on that itself. And come up here. I'm going to select this top vertex and hold down control on this one. And I'm going to try and see what happens if I... Uh, Off that edge. I'll do 
do that over here too. Select that for tax income. That one. Two. Oh, did I lose him? Uh, I didn't control click, did I? Okay, that one. Hold down control. Click that one. Two. X. Dissolve edges. Let's see how she's looking. I think we got him. We got her back. Let's see. I just want to decide if I think that looks good. So it's on that one. Okay. Yeah, like that. But I'm sure I like that. I think it may have to be taller. I don't know. Uh, let's just select a piece of this. Let's arbitrarily pull it up. Something like that. Take this. Scale it in the Z, that'll stretch them out a little bit, but I'm okay with that. I think. I think I like that a little bit better. Let's make sure we're saving. How about a bolt holding maybe these bars together? Let's, let's try coming in and selecting a vertex. Shift S, cursor selected, just to bring the 3D cursor closer. Let's bring in a circle with 18 vertices. Scale it down, rotate it in the X, 90 degrees. Do that. Let's try a circle with a square like this. Let's do that and then let's try um, Maybe uh, press C to paint select. Let me grab maybe those and let's uh, scale Z zero. Press C, uh, C again. I'm taking these five. Scale Z zero. I'll press C again and I'll grab all of these. Scale X zero. C again. All these. SX0, the edge selection, shift, alt, and click there. I can scale this now. Uh, I'll scale in the Z a little bit. That's a pretty good square right there. Select it, press the period key to focus on that. Let's do this. Let's grab that, extrude it back a little ways. E and S come in and just F to make a face. I can't see that. Like that. And take this part and extrude it back. Need S come in. Make the stem of it like that. And let's just try Control One. Let me do another one. But uh, I'm going to click there, and I think I'm going to make that a circle. Actually, I've got uh, Loop Tools uh, installed. Let's just bring it in a little bit like that. And shade smooth. And maybe that's a little bit big. So select that and control one S to scale. Actually maybe uh, control plus a bit. Just scale it in a bit more. And maybe now we can bring that scale that in. And I might uh, don't want to do that. I might put another edge loop up there. Just to flatten the thing. And another edge loop. Uh, pulling up there. In fact, maybe even that too. And obviously, not too worried about polys. You know, that kind of in a bowl like that. Okay, and from the side, uh, you know, so it looks like it goes in there. I don't think I'll do another end. So you can just do that. And then uh, I'm just go in, Shift D, and just copy it down to there. That's probably all right. Okay, and then um, I'll Shift C, bring my 3D cursor there, set the origin to the 3D cursor, and mirror that. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply the mirror. So I got all those four, and just make sure it's a, have the origin there. I'll look down from the top though. Shift D rotate Z 120. Shift D rotate Z 120. And hopefully we'll have bolts all over. We should do a quick check here. Yeah. Oh my boy.
bolts. Here, they need to be flipped. Let's have, yeah. Let's have a look here. Let's uh, switch over to Matt Cap, and I'm gonna choose this one just to see it a bit differently. And that's what I'm pretty much coming up with for this thing. The one other thing that I think I would probably do, uh, I'm just gonna focus on just that stuff here is I think I would actually break this out. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select here in face selection, shift alt and select there, and turn that off and control plus a couple of times just till I get to the end of it. I'm gonna press P and break that out. And I'll take this and I'm gonna scale in the Z just a little bit so it pushes in so that these pieces are separated. I'm gonna do one more thing. Uh, I'm going to get rid of those, come back in here, into there, and in wireframe, I'm going to box select those faces and those, and those faces, and I'm going to scale the Z. Uh, oh, no, let's not do it that way. One, and, okay, scale in the Z. Okay, I'm on individual origins. Median point that would have worked with the faces. I'm just going to scale them to the Z and pull them down. I just want more of that part. Not maybe too much. Let's see. Yeah, not really. If I had done that from the first step, it would have been okay. But now that is a bit much. Uh, I'm just going to scale in the Z from here just a little bit more. And that's really all. I just wanted a bit more of this showing in fact that might even be too too wide the more I think about it what if I was to scale but not in the Z scale shift scale Z Let's see. scale shift Z S shift Z and pull I'm holding that shift to make them a little narrower all right so these are now separate things so what if I was to take that select that and that, uh, and that. Okay, let me do that again. Select that part and that part. Slash key. That's better. Okay. So now what we're going to do is just select this. I'm just going to copy it out. Okay. Shift D G. Put one about there. Shift D to duplicate it. I want to do materials. I might you know delete all but one. Let's bring that back. Let's save and have a look at this thing. Okay, so my handle is attaching by those things, and these these bars are attaching there, and they're bolted in. And we've got that mesh. Yeah, and short of you know doing anything on there, I mean maybe we'll put in a little decal or some text or something. Uh, I am thinking of doing this clean uh, textures in, in Blender instead of grunge. And um, that was just bothering me now. Yeah, that's it. I think for the for the modeling. Unless I come up with something else, we're gonna leave it at that and come back, and put some textures, and put some glow on that and uh, we'll see how she turns out. Great. Thanks for watching.